come back and um I already done cut the little clips on the bottom of the quarter panel. There's three of them and then like one long black one that I think just holds it in place. It's not really a clip. But um, I cut the clips off and about to start trying to get it off with, um, you know, fishing string. Right now it's still a little tough, man. So I'm going to spray a little bit more Goo Gone. Let it soak for like 10, 15 more minutes, man. Try to make it easier because... Uh, I just tried and, uh, you know, still, still a little hard. So I'll be back, man. Hopefully I'll be back and um, I'll have this thing off, man. You know, we'll uh, put some goo gone on and pop it off. Stay tuned. I'm back. Almost got the, the deck layer part off. Got the first one off. It really don't look that bad under there, man. Probably because, uh. You know, the cars are 2017, man, so it's fairly fresh. Should be easier to get this thing off, clean it up. But one thing I, I'm going to say is I noticed that the, the spoiler don't sit, like, flush with the deck lid. It's, like, almost an inch in. So I just marked the line right here to see how far it is. That way, if I do have to drill any holes and it's not a perfect match or something, I'm going to put it, you know, identical like that i was looking at a buddy of mine scat pack yesterday and it's just like this it's, it's not flush to the, the the hood i mean uh the trunk it's about an inch in so this is just to give me a, a little marker of you know how far in in it is but uh yeah let me get the rest off and i should be right back <clears throat> Yo, 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 I'm back after fishing, after fishing with the fishing line, man. That's one thing I forgot to say, uh, fishing line, man. That's how you go get this thing, get this thing off without scratching the paint. And, uh, there it is, folks. Saw it off. Came off pretty good. Now the next step is going to be to, you know, clean it up, get all this adhesive off, get it all nice and shiny. And once I get it shining, that's when I'll put the spoiler on and uh, see how the fitment is. Stay tuned. I'm back. As you see, uh, I got most of the adhesive off there. Most of the adhesive off there. You know, I suggest getting a buffer or something, man. I ain't got a buffer, so either let it sit for a long time or, uh, yeah, get a buffer, man. Because uh, some parts are harder than others to get off. And uh, when you're getting it off, be careful. You see, I chipped a little paint right there already. Um, getting the spoiler off, but that's going to get covered up by the new one, so no biggie. But um, I did find this little technique out, like rolling it. It's kind of sticky, but I've been just rolling it with the towel like this. You see? comes up a lot easier I just found that out now so it shouldn't take me too much longer to get the rest off you see it's already all just kind of roll it up into a little ball and it comes off but yeah yeah man that's it I'm gonna get that off real quick get these side ones plugged in and I did a fitment check it looks like it's a direct fit man I ain't gonna have to drill do nothing so this should be uh Pretty much done soon, man. I'm going to get the adhesive, clean everything off, plug the holes up, put the silicone in, and put the spoiler on. Should be done. All right, man. I'll be back. Got everything cleaned up. Everything's good to go. Got one little hole plug in there. That's basically what it's going to look like. You know, it's not a whole lot noticeable, even though the spoiler is going to cover it, but... uh about it man I'm about to plug it up and finish up man plug those up seal it with silicone and then the spoiler is going to go in these four holes it's a direct fit and then i also bought a um, double-sided like out outdoor tape like that foamy adhesive tape that basically came on it i'm going to put it on you know around the same thing around the square so I'm going to put that on, plug the holes up, put the double-sided adhesive on there, and uh, put it on, man. should be done shortly. 
and fillet hemi over and out. Yeah, yeah, you too. What to do? FLA Hemi back this is uh, the finished product. As you see, the spoiler is on. And I'm gonna have a quick video after I clean everything up and you know, uh, put everything back together. Put the little holes in the plugs. You see, plugs looking all right. Yeah, yeah. I put everything back together, clean up, and then um, I'll have a little clip of the finished product. Stick around. Yo, what up, what up, YouTube? FLA Hemi back at ya, and here's the finished product, man. Came out looking good, bro. You know, just did a quick little wash, man. Uh, I gotta wash the car. Just basically just wiped everything down for now, man. I gotta go take the kids to go see Santa. But when I get back car again the full detail but yeah yeah that's what it's looking like man let me see it it's hard to see out here the sun is shining but yeah man bolts friggin uh lined up perfect man i ain't even have to bring the drill out but yeah man fla hand me over and out i have a uh, more footage here soon. Holla. Thanks for watching. And I hope uh, this video was useful. Subscribe. Hit that like button. Holla at your boy. FLA Hemi. Over and out.